All right, what's going on, Two Way Crew? It's Rizzo, Ophidian Tactical of the Day. We're gonna do a field strip clean in lube, the Ruger Mark IV 2245 light. Yeah, love this gun. 22 LR, we can go plinking any, all, every day. All right, so we're gonna do us a little uh, field strip. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is um, it's a little button back here, right about here. Got a little button there, you see that? Yeah, you have to press that. But what you have to do is make sure that if it's in, if the gun is in, uh, what's the safety? If it's in, if it's in fire mode, uh, it's not going to press. So you have to make sure it's um, in safe. And we're going to take the magazine out. We're going to verify uh, clear. I'm checking, make sure there's nothing in there. You can. <clears throat> Look and see that the gun is clear. All right, there we go. All right, so we will. It's in safe. We're just gonna push this little button here, and then all we're gonna do is it rotates. Uh, this little pivot uh, right there. Just gonna push that in and pull it up. There we go. Got your lower, upper, and your. Um, Bolt. So that's all you're gonna um that's all you're gonna need. It's gonna have the three uh parts. Your uh upper, lower, the bolt. That's it. Alright, so what are we gonna do first? I'm going to now I always have issues with the 22 LR, so well cleaning it. So what I do is um I have uh a rod I put in here. So I'm going to um some cleaner in and then let it uh soak for a little while so I'm gonna just get a little um bore cleaner and I'm just going to take my rod and I'm gonna put some gloves on it in a minute y'all and just kind of put that in there just I'm gonna let that bore cleaner sit in there for a little while and I'm gonna let that soak I'm gonna put it to the side so I'm gonna let that or clean the seal in there for a little while. Alright, so lower arm. Um, it's basically just you don't have to take anything else off. If you want to take the grips off, um, I think it's a 332nd uh screw you can use to take off the uh the grips, and you would do that. Um, like I said, the safety is uh ambidextrous, but if you wanted to take off uh the safety on the right, you can take the grips off and reach it from there. But we're not going to do that. We are just going to uh, take our little cleaner here. I'm going to get a brush. And we're just going to spray and brush. I'm just going to get inside of here and just kind of brush down everything. And like I always tell you, however you want to clean it, um, it's fine with me. I take some uh, the brush, I uh, hit it with uh, some patches. Get in there. You just want to kind of make sure everything is uh, clean. Get all that carbon and everything out. Yep. And always you're going to hit the uh, magwell. So spray that down. Then I'll just take it and just kind of side of here, inside the mag well a little bit, and just kind of get in there. And if you want, you can use like a uh, Q-tip, or not necessarily a Q-tip, but a cotton swab if you want, and just kind of get down. I always find a lot of times it's hard to reach places, you can just kind of reach in there with the uh, cotton swab and get all on places that you might not normally be able to get and reach so we're going to just get in there and get all of that out <clears throat> and one thing about using q-tips is they kind of you know break off they flare so a lot of times if you're using the ones that are made for um cleaning guns uh they don't uh flare as much fray so all right 
you got everything in here. Give it a wipe it down a little bit. Make sure everything is dry. All right. All right. So um, we got the lower clean. I'm just gonna take the bolt and basically same thing. I'm just gonna spray it and then just. Brush the crap off of it. And we'll wipe it down. I say it's not a whole lot in this thing. It wasn't really uh, very dirty, so I'm not getting a whole lot. But yeah. Keep your fire on because I know a lot of people like to say you don't clean them or you don't you don't have to clean out to everyone, but yeah. Clean firearm is a happy firearm. That's what I always say. Alright, so clean that off. So now we're gonna go back to the upper. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a brush. Sometimes, you know, you can maybe dip it in the cleaner. I'm just going to spray a little cleaner on that brush. And then we're just going to go in and clean that. 22 is always tight. Just hit it a couple of times. Yeah, and, and my thing is, I, I like to use just this stuff because uh, it's not always easy running patches down through there. So then I will take my, got a couple of these. I use three different, I guess little, call them little mops or whatever. I got one to clean, one to dry it off, and then one to um, lube it up. But don't need a lot of lube on the 22, so we're good. All right, I'm just going to take this down through here and make sure it is dry, dry it off. Like I said, you can uh, run some patches down through there if you need to. All right, so next, we're just going to kind of get inside of the, the chamber area here and just kind of make sure everything is clean. Uh, and usually I think this, is, yeah, you can pretty do pretty good because uh, it's not really easy to reach inside so this might be a good place for you to use your uh your q-tip uh, <laughs> cotton swab if you need to but yeah you just want to get in here and just kind of make sure everything is clean All right, so uh, like I was saying with Lou, you don't really need um, a whole lot. Uh, really, I just put maybe a little dab on this little thing, there, which really doesn't need it, but it's like just trying to find something to lube it up with, right? Um, yeah, really, uh, maybe on this little where it pivots at, I put a little drop there. My little you know, um, <clears throat> bolt catch, bolt release. Put a little drop in there. That's sit and that's about all I do for the uh, lower. I do uh, on the bolt. I just put a coat, a little coating on the outside, and just put a couple of drops on that spring. So I just put a little coat on the outside, and I just, I just rub it in. You can do it with the patches, whatever. I'm wearing gloves, so I can just, I'll just go ahead and just rub it in. Yep. And on the upper part, we'll just go in this other mock, and we'll just put a little couple of drops on here. And we'll just run that through. Let's go. 
good. And then, uh, yeah, you don't really need anything inside the chamber, but I put a little in this little part here. So just put like a little dab there. Hit that up. And that is really about it. Like I said, not hard, not a whole lot going on. So uh, we'll put this back together. We're just going to slide my bolt back in. Put it on a little pivot here and just line up the two holes in the top with the knob there and put it back down. We are good to go. Clean and lube. Now um, let's do a quick little function check. Let's see if everything works good. Let me put my magazine in. Stops. Magazine back in. Release works. Safety. Safety off. Fire. We are good to go. All right. So that is the uh, fill strip clean lube uh, Ruger Mark IV 2245 Light. Uh, if you got comments, if you do something differently, uh, questions or anything, uh, hit me up in the comments below and uh, we'll talk about it. Um, until then, you guys stay safe, shoot straight. We'll talk to you guys later. I have a go. All right, so here at Fitting and Tactical, we're trying to give you good quality content, um, especially for new shooters or uh, people that may be uh, underrepresented in the community. So um, if these videos are helpful or informational, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, just kind of help grow the channel. That's what we're trying to do is grow, get to as many people as possible. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe. All right, you guys stay safe.